Hey, this is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic and today I'm going to be fixing up my binders a little bit. Um, this is my binder revamp. So I'm not going to do the entire revamp on here just because I don't have all the pages set up and I kind of want to make sure and check and look and make sure everything looks good on here before I get too deep into this process. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to start because there's still a lot that I do need to do. So right now, um, I don't have a lot of insert pages and things separating. So I want to do a few different things. So first I want to get in my main pages for my different sections that I either don't currently have section names or I need to like update the sections. So these are all printed out on paper. Um, I'm going to put them in. Some of them I may need to go get backing so that way they have some sturdier backings to them. Um, then I also have these guys which are for um, photo hard spaces so I have a bunch of these and these are mainly for groups that I know that I collect um, even if that's like even no, no matter what whether I collect at different degrees these are groups that when they release albums I buy albums from them no matter what I may not buy a full set I may not buy all of the versions available but I do collect to an extent so I made pages for them so I can cut them out and we can make things pretty. So let's, and also I have my little craft box here. I may need to go get some of my cardstock to glue stuff down, but we're going to start and just see how things go first and then we'll go from there. So let's just start with um, one of my binders. Let's move the bind some of these binders out of the way so I have more room. And so this is my BTS binder. Um, there are some still obviously some things that need to be put away and obviously I'm, this isn't like a photo card tour and everything because they obviously need to be rearranged and like fixed up and all that. But for example, this is the old logo that I had in there for BTS. So now I need to put in the new one because I have not updated that since a while. So this is just on a regular piece of paper. This one that I had in here previously was in cardstock. So I'm actually gonna keep the cardstock just to make it sturdy, cause that'll help with this one. And I won't need to like glue down and do that for another one. So I'm just gonna leave the BTS on the one side and then I'll have the BTS on the other side as well, the old version. And I'm just gonna put this back in here. So there we go. So now this has now the black here and it's in here and it's sturdy. So that's nice. Um, obviously there's so many pages, like there's certain things that I need to like move around. Like I have pages now that can fit this better instead of that full page and a whole bunch of different things. But I have open slots in some of them like this i have all these open slots that i need to fill in um, but what i'm actually going to do is we're going to test that out with a different version so let's move from this bts binder so i'm going to go to my x1 binder which it has x1 so it has like i have like my premiere shokan and stuff I have to update these and these and I'll be moving stuff around but what I'm actually going to go to is so let's do Of 
course, now I'm having trouble finding it. Where is it? There it is. So what I want to do is I'm actually going to do this Crabity page here. So we're going to go to Crabities because I have a lot of Crabity stuff and more Crabity stuff coming. Crabity will likely get split out into its own binder, but for now, I have Cravity in here with the rest of X1. So here is my Cravity section. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do, we're gonna give Cravity signifier for the actual gravity section which is nice okay so as you can see I have some open spaces where I don't have photo cards filled in and I do need to put this in my for sale so I have three spaces right here we're gonna fill these with these guys but before I know for sure that this is how I'm gonna want it I don't know if I want these to be without cardstock on it, but we're gonna try it out. So I got handy dandy paper cutter. I've never had a paper cutter before, but we're gonna go ahead and use said paper cutter. or if I need to like, if I really need to back them up. But, oh, that actually goes in rather nicely even without it being backed. And these actually have like lids on them, so. So even without the backing, that is actually pretty nice, so. This is now my first page with those gravity inserts in there to fill the spaces, which is pretty nice. I think I like it. So I do have everything sized for these four cut pages as well, which I will do later on. I actually have sizes for every single kind of page that I have. But right now we're only doing these square ones. So let's actually move on to the next set of nine cut pages which is going to be for the new album so they are here so as you can see i have enough for this i do have more albums coming so these cards will likely get filled up but at least for now i have enough spaces for those and then i can always print more of these later on but it's nice having a full range here so that i can do this of these guys.
So I've determined that I do like that they're paper rather than cardstock, just because it makes them nice and thin. So if I do have other cards on the other side or if I need to stack it like that, it'll be nice and thin that I can place in there with it. And it also store away really easy when like, say I get new cards and I have to put them away. So let's move on to the next section, woods. So we're gonna get woods here as well. And then I do right now, currently, these are all filled up, these pages, but this page is not filled. So we're gonna get the woods ones now, which are here. So now we have to cut these guys up now. So now I have all the woods ones. Okay, so now the woods ones are filled in. And then since, like I said, they're really thin, so these guys I don't need, I can just slide them into the binder pocket to keep them for when I do need them. So that works out really nicely. Um, I do also have H and D in here, which I do have sections printed out for them as well. So let's go ahead and let's go to H and D real quick. So this is the H and D section. And now it's just a matter of, so with these I have spaces mainly in the cards here, um, but I also do have spaces also where I have Hangul's photo cards. So I don't think I have enough because obviously with this I have extra, but let's go ahead and do this. So these are the H and D ones. And we have all the H and D ones now. And this is the last one I have, so I'm just gonna leave it out of that top corner. I'm gonna need to print more of the H and D ones. Um, since I don't have enough in there, unless I get more cards, one or the other. <laughs> but so that's the H and D ones now. And 
that's really all that I have for, um, actually, one more. I have to also replace the other cards. So I have to replace these cards. have one more of these but I have like another two sections that are going to need this particular filler and these are the only cards that I have unfortunately for X1 so I know exactly how many Now I'll leave these green ones in there since I don't have anything to put in those guys. I do have name tags for those. And then last, finally, we've got the last section, which I never had put any of those in because I had, didn't receive these until after um, I had all these. So. Let's go ahead and get and then my card. So I'm going to use some of those plain ones that I had from the other one. So I do, I'm going to use like these two plain yellow ones until I get the pretty ones that I have for the so there we go so for now we're gonna fill in those sheets so now this binder is actually totally complete um i have everything filled in so power to that and then really i'm gonna do the same thing with the others so i do have the printouts for bts Daniel. So these are all the guys that I actually collect for. So I have all of these that are going to get done as well. I'm not going to do all of these on camera right now because pretty much I'm just going to do the same thing that you saw just now, which is cutting out those individual sheets. For the groups, I have some of these, they have their full page sheets that need to be there. And in the case of that seven and Monster X, they do already have page sheets, but they're getting the updated logo ones. So we're going to do the same thing like I showed you with the BTS on that. But yeah, 
if you guys like this video i know that it's i didn't go in too much in depth and i didn't do the bigger sizes but that's really what i'm just trying to make it look nice for um you guys are going to see my actual photo books i'm going to do a giant photo book all my photo cards and i want to have all of this done for it so it'll look very nice and i'm going to have the other cutouts as well so look forward to that um i will be filming that next weekend and it should be up sometime during next week but yeah if you guys like this video please let me know i might start doing videos where i put my photo cards in the actual binders every month um if you guys are interested in that um because i usually let my photo cards stack up and then i have to put them away so i think i might do them once a month um but yeah i'll see you guys next time bye